The Allianz Arena bore witness to a spectacle of attacking football as Bayern Munich dismantled Dynamo Zagreb with a ruthless display of power and precision. The Bavarians were in no mood to show mercy, and their relentless pursuit of goals was a sight to behold. The final scoreline, a scarcely believable 9-2, sent shockwaves through the footballing world. It was a result that would be talked about for years to come, a match that would be replayed in the minds of fans and analysts alike, and etched Bayern's name into the Champions League history books. This was a night where records were not just broken, but shattered, and new benchmarks were set for future generations. This was not just a victory, it was a statement, a statement of intent, a declaration that Bayern Munich were not just participants in the Champions League, but serious contenders for the title. Bayern, under the bright lights of Europe's elite competition, had arrived. The stage was set, the players were ready, and the fans were eager for a night of unforgettable football. The atmosphere crackled with anticipation as the Bundesliga champions took to the field. Every fan in the stadium could feel the electricity in the air, a sense of something special about to unfold. The roar of the home crowd reverberated around the stadium, urging their heroes forward. And how Bayern responded, the players fed off the energy of the crowd, their every move cheered, their every goal celebrated with unbridled joy. From the first whistle, it was clear that Dynamo Zagreb were in for a long night. Bayern's intent was evident, their game plan executed to perfection. The Bavarians, spearheaded by the clinical finishing of Harry Kane, tore into their opponents with relentless intensity. Kane was in sublime form, his every touch a threat, his every shot a potential goal. Goals flowed like water, each one a testament to Bayern's attacking prowess. It was a masterclass in offensive football, a display that left fans and pundits alike in awe. It was a performance that showcased the perfect blend of individual brilliance and collective cohesion. Every player knew their role, every pass was precise, every run was timed to perfection. The home side were simply irresistible, their movement fluid, their passing crisp, and their finishing ruthless. It was a night where everything clicked, where every player was at the top of their game. As the goals racked up, the Bayern faithful erupted in a chorus of celebration, their team delivering a performance that will live long in the memory. The fans were treated to a footballing feast, a night of pure joy and unbridled passion. Dynamo Zagreb, to their credit, never gave up. They fought with determination, their spirit unbroken despite the onslaught. They battled valiantly but were ultimately outclassed by a Bayern side operating on a different level. It was a harsh lesson, but one that would serve them well in the future. As the final whistle blew, the scoreline told its own story. It was a night of triumph for Bayern, a night where dreams were realized and history was made. This was Bayern's night, a night of records broken and statements made. The players celebrated on the pitch, the fans in the stands, all united in their joy and pride. The Champions League, it seemed, had been put on notice. Bayern Munich had announced their arrival in the most emphatic way possible, and the rest of Europe would have to take heed. The sheer scale of Bayern's victory is best understood through the cold, hard statistics. Numbers don't lie, and in this case, they tell a story of absolute dominance and unparalleled performance on the football field. The 9-2 scoreline represents the largest margin of victory in the Champions League group stage, a feat that has left an indelible mark in the annals of football history. This incredible achievement eclipses the previous record of 8-0 held by Liverpool and Real Madrid, two of the most storied clubs in football. It was a display of attacking football that bordered on the surreal, a masterclass in offensive strategy and execution that left spectators in awe. Fans and pundits alike were left struggling to comprehend what they had witnessed as Bayern Munich dismantled their opponents with clinical precision. Bayern's nine goals came from a staggering 33 attempts on goal, a testament to their relentless pursuit of scoring opportunities. 17 of these attempts were on target, showcasing their accuracy and efficiency in front of goal. Dynamo Zagreb, by contrast, managed a mere six shots, a stark reminder of the golfing class between the two teams. With only three of their shots finding the target, Dynamo Zagreb's efforts were largely thwarted by Bayern's solid defense and superior goalkeeping. The golfing class was evident in every facet of the game, from possession to territory, and of course, the scoreline. Bayern dominated possession, controlling the ball with ease and dictating the pace of the game. 
but the statistical dominance extended beyond the final scoreline, painting a picture of a team in complete control. Bayern completed over 600 passes with an accuracy rate exceeding 90%, a remarkable feat that highlights their technical prowess and composure under pressure. Their ability to maintain possession and build attacks from the back was a key factor in their overwhelming victory. They won the corner count 11 to 1, further testament to their relentless attacking intent and dominance in the final third. Each corner kick was an opportunity to apply pressure and create scoring chances, and Bayern capitalized on these opportunities with ruthless efficiency. Every metric told the same story. Bayern were in a league of their own, a team operating at the peak of their powers. This wasn't just about individual brilliance. It was a collective masterclass in attacking football, a symphony of movement and precision. The players worked together seamlessly, each one understanding their role and executing it to perfection. The statistics painted a picture of a team in perfect harmony, functioning as a well-oiled machine. Each cog in the machine played its part in a devastating display of attacking football, a performance that will be remembered for years to come. It was a performance that will be analyzed and dissected for years to come, a testament to Bayern's place among Europe's elite. Analysts and fans alike will continue to marvel at the sheer brilliance of Bayern's performance, a game that set new standards in the Champions League. This match was not just a victory, it was a statement, a declaration of Bayern's intent to dominate European football. Their place among Europe's elite is not just secured, it is cemented with performances like these. At the heart of Bayern's historic victory was Harry Kane, the English captain who appears to have found his spiritual home in Bavaria. His arrival has been nothing short of a revelation for the club and its fans. After his high-profile move from Tottenham Hotspur, all eyes were on Kane to see how he would adapt to life in the Bundesliga. The pressure was immense, with expectations soaring high. Would he be able to replicate his Premier League form in a new league, with new teammates, and under a different tactical setup? If this performance was anything to go by, the Premier League's all-time second-highest scorer has settled in just fine. His seamless transition into the Bayern Munich squad has been a joy to watch, and his ability to find the back of the net remains as sharp as ever. Kane was simply unplayable, tormenting the Dynamo Zagreb defense with his intelligent movement, clinical finishing, and all-round awareness. His vision and understanding of the game were on full display, making it nearly impossible for the opposition to contain him. He bagged four goals, each one a testament to his predatory instincts and technical prowess. His ability to be in the right place at the right time is unmatched, and his finishing is nothing short of world-class. His first, a well-taken penalty, set the tone for the evening. The calmness and precision with which he dispatched the spot kick were indicative of his confidence and composure under pressure. His second, a poacher's finish from close range, showcased his predatory instincts. Kane's ability to read the game and anticipate where the ball would land allowed him to tap it in effortlessly. The third, a thumping header from a pinpoint cross, highlighted his aerial ability. Rising above the defenders, Kane met the ball with perfect timing and power, leaving the goalkeeper with no chance. And his fourth, another coolly converted penalty, capped off a truly memorable night for the England captain. His consistency from the spot is a valuable asset for any team, and he demonstrated it once again. It was a performance that sent a clear message to the rest of Europe. Harry Kane is here, and he means business. His determination and hunger for success were evident in every moment he was on the pitch. His four-goal haul marked the first time a Bayern Munich player has scored four goals in a Champions League match since Robert Lewandowski's iconic four-goal haul against Real Madrid in 2013. This achievement places Kane in the company of Bayern legends and sets the stage for what could be a historic tenure at the club. It was a performance that cemented Kane's status as one of the world's best strikers and provided a tantalizing glimpse of what he can achieve in a Bayern shirt. The fans are excited, the team is energized, and the future looks incredibly bright with Harry Kane leading the line for Bayern Munich. Adding another layer of brilliance to Kane's performance was his historic hat-trick of penalties. Never before in the history of the Champions League has a player achieved this feat, further emphasizing the Englishman's remarkable display. Each penalty was dispatched with the same calmness and precision, leaving the Dynamo Zagreb goalkeeper with absolutely no chance. The hat-trick of penalties not only showcased Kane's composure under pressure, but also highlighted his technical proficiency from the spot. 
Each penalty was struck with conviction and accuracy, finding the back of the net with unerring precision. It was a masterclass in penalty taking, further cementing Kane's reputation as one of the most complete strikers in world football. This historic achievement is a testament to Kane's dedication to his craft and his relentless pursuit of excellence. He has consistently proven himself to be one of the most reliable penalty takers in the world, and his performance against Dynamo Zagreb will go down as one of the greatest individual displays in Champions League history. The hat trick of penalties also served as a reminder of Kane's importance to this Bayern Munich side. He is not only a lethal finisher, but also a leader on the pitch, capable of taking responsibility when it matters most. His performance against Dynamo Zagreb will fill his teammates with confidence and send a clear message to their rivals. Bayern Munich are a force